Howdy arty aliens and welcome. I am Paul Yateman. I draw stuff. In today's video I am drawing an X-Wing in a style inspired by H.R. Giga. I will be showing you a time lapse of a 60 minute sketch drawn with a range of B and H pencils and a smudge stick. Design wise the Star Wars X-Wing is going to be fairly phallic and have some organic tunnels for the engine pods and syringe needles where the laser cannons would normally go. With regards to any biological organ analogues, I'm not drawing anything explicit so there's no reason to run screaming for the hills. I start off the biomechanical X-Wing with perspective lines. Overall these do the job, although I'm not particularly happy with the way the far wings turned out. Something to improve on. Next I indicate the main elements of the X-Wing. These are the fuselage, the engine pods and wings. I keep the cockpit more or less traditional and give the astro droid a glance because this is risque art of course. For the detailing I begin on the engine pods giving them a smooth rounded outer and internal look thinking of something in the way of picture plants. I rib the interior of the engine pods to provide depth and interest. To the tip of the fuselage I add some ribbing and some hard edge cutouts so we know this is not a 100% grown spaceship and the cockpit should also indicate that. I'd recently seen a Giga work with lots of needles so decided to use these here as they were perfectly placed as laser cannons. My drawing is quite small so the addition of clitoral type shapes at the apex of each needle cutout probably does not come across in the video. I added these as a shape in this location called out for them and it helps with the style I'm going for. I'm at about the halfway mark here and it is time to get stuck into shading and detailing of the spaceship. To give an organic feel I add a lot of squiggly lines on the surface to indicate tendons or veins. Often today after using my smudge stick I go back and return detail with my H pencil. The lighting for this sketch is fairly neutral as it is in space. In reality all you would be able to see would be lights from the ship and parts of it in direct sun. This is not reality so I've taken a lot of lighting liberty. I've erased my construction lines and continue to add detail with H pencil. Later in the drawing I'll be using a 2 or 4B to add shading as this grade of pencil smudges really well. I do find this style of sketch tends to look a little washed out so to darken things up you could use a higher number of B pencil or adjust the levels later in a program such as Photoshop. My shading of the tip of the fuselage is done to emphasize its domed nature. I darken the hard edges here to contrast with the smooth domed look and bring these elements out from the page. Next I darken up the tendon like structures along the fuselage, wings and engine pods. I finish up my sketch with the detailing of the fire engine pod wings and needle and that is about that for today's HR Geiger challenge. Here I'm showing the final image after being scanned, darkened and some skin tone colour applied to the line work in Photoshop. Have a go at the biomechanical style yourself. I'm interested to see what you come up with so share it with me in the comments or via one of my social media accounts. Anywho, if you have found this interesting, informative, entertaining, you were inspired to draw in your own sketchbook or journal etc, Subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, you have been watching Drawing Stuff with me, Paul Yateman. Ciao, and until next time, take care.